silent giant entertainment. Loud baby, welcome to it. You know how we do it. Hello, focus for the locals. I'm wonderful. I got the one and only. Oh, Mr. Capone. You do it right. (laughs) How's it going? Kool Aid, long time. Wonderful, baby. It's been a minute, decade and a half. We've been knowing each other, hustling hard, trying to, same mission statement, trying to pretty much uh, come with the same end result. And Let's create content that we love and make a lifestyle and a living off of it for our family at the same time. Yeah, and you've definitely. done a very good job. Hey, I'm still not done. We're still, still right. moving, you know what I'm saying? So, Traveling and yeah. reinventing, and it's yeah. a whole new wild west out there for you. Exactly. For um, some of the people who might just be being exposed to Mr. Capone or to High Power, tell them a little bit about how you started. and Man, how it started. Yeah. Wow. It's a crazy story how it started. I mean... Man, back in the days, you know, everyone knows back in the times, stuff was pretty crazy. I mean, you know, still crazy now, but I remember my times was crazy. Um, coming out of jail, just, you know, figuring out what I'm going to do in my life. And uh ran to ODM, and from there I just knew, like, I had a vision when I was in jail. I don't know how much time I talk about it, but when I was in jail, I was like, Take man, time. if I had time to, um, if I had a chance to make it in life, I would love to be, you know, a rapper because I always messed around on the mic in my neighborhood mm-hmm. backyard parties back then and I was like if I had a chance to get out of jail man and where did you grow up uh San Gabriel Valley mm-hmm. West Covina La Puente moved out towards the IE after but just always getting in trouble so I was in LA County Jail and then for how long I did a year county lid and when I did my county lid I was at in, what age uh in the I was in the early 20s you know something like oh. that that's when I came out rapper um I was like, man, if I get out, if I can become a rapper, then that'd be like something positive because, you know, you get out, you ain't going to get a job, especially the way I look, I, I, you know, gangster or whatever. So I was like, man, if I had that opportunity, like, you know, I had a little prayer to myself, I guess you could say. If I come out, man, if I become a rapper, that, that'd be something I could do. Within a month, I get out, somebody calls me like, hey, man, want to come party? We can go kick it with the rapper ODM, Lot of Shit of Brown. When that happened, the whole memory came back to me from when I was in jail. I was like, rapper, I remember this. This is the opportunity. So I went over there, partying with girls, and I was like, I'm going to bring, I used to know a lot of girls. I'm going to bring a lot of girls. We're going to party. I'm going to get in good, you know? Right, right. I came in, bring a lot of girls. The ladies were your ticket in. Exactly. The ladies (laughs) were the ticket in. We came in. They're like, damn, you got all the girls. ODM was like, he can vouch for that. Like, man, you're bringing all these girls. Party, come over next week, next week. (laughs) Then I popped the question, you know, I want to rap, you know? So I don't know how he felt about that, Rick. Can you know when when I could see it in his face, like he's like, okay, yeah, but you know. I, well, you can imagine how yeah, many people hit him exactly, like that. Or exactly. Hit, hit, yeah. So that's when now I know I look it back and I was like, okay, you know, he's probably like, his it's another guy just trying right. to be a rapper, you know. Right. I was like, let me get on a compilation. He said, well, I got this Brown Roll Kingpin compilation, featuring Little Blackie, rest in peace, Wreck. Um, I, there's a bunch of people on that album, so I was like. Let me drop a track on it. So I did a song called "What's My Name." You guys played of on course. vocals, you know. And um, man, oh, so was that? That was the first song that yeah. you brought to me on vocals because I remember that's one thing I'll never forget that yeah. I always liked about you. And I know I've told this story on the mm. radio, but I'll tell it here for somebody who hasn't heard it. Um, you came up to me to the, at the radio station, and you showed up. And usually, it's like you know, usually it's tough because when people are like hard pressing you it's hard because it's like you've got different things you're doing during the day and you've got people don't realize that you're not only focusing on one thing you know people have kids they have families they're doing things but you stepped with so much respect i'll never forget it you said listen i'd like you to give my music an opportunity but with or without the help i'm gonna do this because i know i'm gonna yeah you know in a little bit of a different words but but mad respectfully Yeah. yeah and i was like okay and on the way home i popped it in and I remember you were just, you were always persistent. You were yeah. always just like, yeah. you you didn't depend on anybody else. You moved for yourself. Exactly. And that's what made people move for you. Yeah. And, you know, yeah, exactly. And that's how it was at the beginning. And I, I was dedicated to my craft. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I'm not going to stop. You know, I, I had faith in myself that I could do it. So that's what I just stepped into the category. And then, you know, I got into the music. My first song came out, What's My Name? And that just opened doors from there. From there, I remember Rec calling me, Recipes. He goes, hey, I like that song. want to put on your comp- my, one of my compilations. Uh, what's your name of your record label so I can sign it off and whatever. I didn't even know. I, I didn't have no record label. I just said, um, 
first thing came to my mind, high power. I don't know why, but I was like, high power. And then he wrote it down, okay, high power is your label. It's like lying, you know, I was trying to fit it's in, dope. you know what I'm saying? Next, you know, I was like, I guess that's my record label now. I did that. So Rec made that official then. Yeah, he Rec made it official. He's like, what's he your record label? It from there. And I felt like I don't want to look dumb. Like right. I don't know. I, I'm not a record label. I don't want. I gotta show. I can't show weakness. Right. So I'm like high power. That's my record label. That's and dope. then he wrote it down. Okay, I'm gonna send you. We're gonna put on a compilation. Blah blah blah. Next, you know, I was like, I guess that's my record label from now on, high power. That's a dope story because a lot of people don't realize that, that that's that's the way you learn and you grow is just by doing it. Like yeah. you have to not be afraid to do it and to jump into things even exactly. if you've never yeah. done them, mm -hmm. like you did. So at that point, after you were like, okay, Rec, I'm I'm high power. Is yeah. that when you started bringing on other people? That's when yeah, exactly, start happening. I did my album. My first goal was someone sign me, please. You know, mm -hmm. that was my goal. Someone pay attention to me. I went up to like Familiar Records, They're like, okay, we'll see what's up. I went to 805 on the world. I went to all these other labels, you know, and they're like, yeah, 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 we'll see what's up, what's up. Time don't wait, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to sit around. So I had to do it, figure out how to get it out there, put it out there, and eventually I did. And the first two, three weeks when it came out was such in demand that all these old record labels came back. Yo, I want to buy your album off you. I'll, I'll sign it off. Meet me, this and that. I was like, man, I already stole 5000 in in two three days just by running into people on the streets i was like i'm cool you know the money i'm making the hype that i got the hustle i got i don't think you got what i got you know so after that i just kept moving artists were bumping into me and you know i seen talent and i was like if i can do it i could help this guy out do it too and that from there you know the list went on from criminals to all these people and pinks and you know more artists it just i like i I put a lot of weight on my shoulder, but I was like, I can handle it. Well, that's dope because some people, especially in that newer situation, will be afraid to give somebody else the shine. Exactly, and, and I'm not light. worried. Exactly, and that's one thing I felt I've never was worried about anyone meaning like saying, take my shine. I want everyone to shine because I know I could do good. Like I have confidence in my craft. Like no matter how good the next man could be, I feel like I, I still who I am. I could do my music. So I wasn't like, yo, I, if this guy's going to get hotter than me or I was like, man, do your thing. I want you to blow up. I want you to be bigger than me. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. if you're bigger than me, you're going to make me push to try to even be bigger too. Mm -hmm. So I love that, you know, and in like all this talent around me. That's what I wanted to be around, a bunch of talent. And, that's and you were representing it. the, you know, the poetry of what you grew yeah. up around and what you grew up and, exactly. the, and the lifestyle of how you grew yeah, up, exactly. you know, and I'm not going to hit it too much, but yeah. I will hit it because it, it does get exactly. hit a lot. I it you've never I, I especially with us this is just how i feel from my opinion you've never tried to act like somebody or something you're yeah. not you've just always been true to the yeah. lifestyle that you've grown up exactly. in yeah. um for the people that criticize you can you give them a little bit of your background for the people that don't get it yeah. and, and don't understand how this is your culture Man, and lifestyle yeah, basically a lot of people knew me from back in the days so i was in the water i was like one of those guys i was known already like mm -hmm. from I guess you could say bad stuff, mm -hmm. gangster stuff. And as I grew up, this is what I know. This is all I know. So when I drop my albums, that's what I rap about. I rap about what I know, how I came up on the streets. And just like all my surrounding people that are around me, we're all on the same page. Now, whether when I came up, I'm not worried about haters because guess what? When I was on the streets, I had them too. And the reason why I had them because I was winning. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. not to say what I did. Winning! Win. You know what I'm saying? But not what I, what I did to win. Charlie you know? Sheen AK, Mr. Capone. Exactly. Like, I'm going to use a scenario. You bash somebody upside the head with a bat, they're going to hate you, right or wrong? Yeah. And that's how I feel like I did. Like, I was on the streets, I'd be winning, and people like, ah, oh, F this guy, F this guy. But that was And that was the only card they had to pull exactly. against you was a race card. I roll up, boom, they're right. gone. You, same, you were living in yeah. the same communities, doing the same thing, and the exactly. only thing that they had to pull on you was race yeah, cards. Exactly. So do you feel like that's why it's been pulled so much with nah, the music, you know, too? Nah, yeah, that just comes with the territory. You know, if I was a nobody, no one would be asking all these questions about me. And that's why I got this guy that came up to me and says, I want to do a big old book on you. Because there's a lot of stories about what are you, you know, what, this and that. Mm -hmm. So I was like, all right, cool. We're going to do a book. It's going to be called Who Am I? And it's going to, you know, squash all the... Uh, rumors and you're gonna know what am I you know what I'm saying you'll you'll know 
So all the nice. rumors are going to be out the door. Nice. They're going to be like, okay, now we know what you are. So so this was a tease to the book. Yeah, so they're going to they're yeah. find out with so, the book. When do we exactly. expect the book? Exactly. So, you know, you guys could talk. I mean... I could be um she I could be a a, a alien as far as you know. Yeah. But you know, you're gonna find out when that book comes out and it's gonna be called Who Am I? And it's gonna break down everything, show you know you wanna see family page, you wanna see my cousins, might see who's locked up or whatever. Just in general you'll see the story the of story, you yeah. and why you're where you are. Yeah, exactly. And who, you and are who today. am I and get to know me because I hear all kinds of stories. He's this, he's that, he's this, he's Salvadorian, he's Mexican, he's Armenian. Oh, I've never heard Salvadorian. Yeah, I've, I've heard it all. <laughs> I've heard, you know, Arabian, uh, Pakistani. I heard it. You're going to see the book and you're going to learn everything on the book. Oh, so, that's dope. I can't wait exactly. for that. So, nice. Yeah. So you get the book, you know what I'm saying? So bottom line is everyone knows me from the Vado. Everybody knows who I am. All the shit talking. We're going to find that. out more with exactly. the book, though. Yeah, the I'm ready book. for that. And I'm excited about seeing yeah. all those old pictures exactly. and that history. I'm, yeah, exactly. I'm so scared. I'm I don't know what you got of us on deck. I'm excited <laughs> about it. You know, but I haven't even talked about it because the guy, it's a business thing. He's like, don't, I don't want you to, you know, let let everyone talk about, make up stories and da, da, da. Yeah. Just let them talk. We're going to do this book and, you know, okay, cool. clear the rumors up. You'll, you know? you'll come to Pocos and bless us with the info and, oh, you know, we'll support you on yeah. it first. If there's a goal you haven't yeah. hit yet that you really want to accomplish, what is it? Man, goal that I want to hit, shoot. <sighs> I guess just to Even me, if it's not something yeah. you're doing now, like something that you've just always dreamed I want to see a bunch of our homies or whatever who I grew up with all on TV, you know? that's I guess that's still the goal for me. That's why I'm still in this game. It's not, it's not even about the money. It's not about nothing because I'm a hustler at the heart, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm... I'm here to, to in it to win it. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So I feel like, yeah, I won it on the street level and this and that. But now as I see bigger things and bigger lights, bigger adventures, I want to see the homies on TV. Why can't we be on MTV? Why can't be a Mr. Criminal be on MTV? Or why can't one of us be on, a, you know, whatever, the big, yeah. the big stage. You know what I'm saying? I feel we can dance with all of them. Paperos! You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, but that's to me... I think that'll put the the icing on the you know the cake that to see us on the big leagues, you know. Okay, I'm gonna turn this around to your fans. Okay, let's go. Um, let's see what they have to ask you on Instagram. Ninety Sandra Eleven says at Kool Aid, can you please ask him when he will be in the city of Compton? Compton's in the house, man. I just went, <laughs> I just went to Compton not too long ago. Uh, maybe a month ago, I rolled up to the Compton Indoor. Met my boy Kirk out there at the swap meet. Say what's up to him. So, so you in Compton, Sandra? You just missing him? Yeah, exactly. Life underscore goes underscore on wants to know: Will you marry me? Of course. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Mister OG Love. Okay, baby Susio. This is a good question. How do you look at today's artists? Today's artists, man. I get a hate on the artists today. You know, a lot of people are like. Oh, we, I hate these new guys and this and that. I mean, I don't personally listen to that kind of music. A lot of it, I don't feel it like I used to feel the m music that I came from. But I ain't gonna hate on them. They're doing their thing. People are liking it. Enjoy, you know, enjoy it. You know, music is music. I like all kinds of music. Okay, CGE twelve seven nine two wants to know when you're coming to Houston. Houston, H town, man. I was supposed to go there uh, a month ago, but deal didn't go through. Just hopefully, you know, next year, you know, I haven't been there for a while, so, you know, I got nothing to say. Just keep requesting me in your town. That's right. Okay, let's go to Facebook real quick and just get a couple more before we wrap up. Um, Jeremiah E. Hustle on Facebook wants to know what the difference between the Cali market and the southern U.S. Texas market to you is. Difference? Man. That's um, a good question. That's a crazy question. Um, Really, to me... I don't see it too much, but the way the cultures are a little bit different. We're a little bit more on the G'd up, palm trees, white tees, chilling. They're more on the, you know, partying, getting crunk, a little rowdy. Sipping on some. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, at the end of the day, it's the same thing, you know, different style. You know, yeah. I can go to, I can go down to Southern Texas and they'll show me love, you know. Right. I'll get it cracking with them too. I mean, it's, I just, people think it's way different but it's, it's all the same really. yeah tina martinez and jamie uh they both love you and they want you to be their vato and 
Kimberly and Guadalupe both want you to come to Oxnard. When are you going to Oxnard? Oxnard, man. Yeah, <laughs> Oxnard. Gotta love Oxnard. You know, I don't know, man. I haven't been there for a while. Gotta love Oxnard. I always get love out there. And uh, psh, my boy Bam Bam Rios, he's a boxer out of Oxnard. So, and I'm gonna go visit the Robert Garcia gym. Nice. So, I'll be in Oxnard. So. Nice. My homeboy, Mr. Capone. Okay, before we let you go, here we go. You ready for this one? What's up? All right. Um, don't don't get don't get all shy on me right now because I'm gonna get real personal right now. Man, I hate personal. Okay, stuff. you ready? <laughs> yeah. Favorite place to eat at? Favorite place to eat. Damn. Uh, Benny Hanna. Oh, me too. <laughs> so you go get some shrimp together. I think you said that too way back in the day. So it's that's the same. Um, if you were to build a dream woman, what would she be? A dream woman, wow. Um, like what? What assets? No pun intended. Would she have? She, I don't know. It's just uh, someone that's you smart. A, intelligent. You a booby guy, butt guy? <laughs> um, Which one? Like, what do I, you look at first, the I, boobies I, or the butt? I like them both sides. You know, popped up, popped uh -huh. out. You know, uh huh. Like a lowriders, they're both like popped out. Like so boom, boom and bang. You know. Okay, so <laughs> you get this TV show. You're doing it with the homies. You're going real big on the red carpet. Paparazzi chasing you. You get to choose one Hollywood honey. Who is that Hollywood honey you got to take on the red carpet? Don't tell me that because I don't. I don't know too many Hollywood actors. <laughs> just, just a Man. actress, singer, any, Shoot. any honey that you would be like, yeah, that's right. Honestly. That you'd be like, oh. Man, <laughs> I, I forgot. I, I'm see. I'm not good with the name. It's names. okay. What's she from? Um, you don't got to know her name to to slap. Who's it that up transformer right girl? Who's transformer? Is he talking about yeah, Megan, Megan Fox? Fox? Yeah, that's. Well, the I one. guess you could say Megan Fox. I don't know. I mean, there's probably better ones, but Megan Fox is keen on mine right now. So. So Megan's here right now. Okay, so, so say, she's up? on your arm on the red carpet. I guess, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, if there's one thing before we bounce that you tell a youngster trying to come up, and especially in a time right, right now, like now with the whole viral, and I mean, it's a different music yeah. game, what you going to tell them? What, what knowledge you spend to oh, make man, it? Man, now you just got to be on your P's and Q's, keep your, keep your craft good, keep doing your thing, get on those virals, you know, get on the Instagram, Facebook, promote your music, get out there too with your music and uh, rock them shows and... Man, just make good music, you know. Hello. Come, come correct or get reject. Oh, hello, <laughs> the one and only old Mr. Capone. Been yeah. knowing this dude for a decade and a half, oh. man. Got you.